Welcome back to Brew Builds. Yesterday I was redoing the irrigation in my backyard and started talking about the debate that there is about using primer or not using primer. So I decided to do my own little test. So yesterday at the end of the day I glued these up so they've been drying for about a day so they should be nice and dry and strong and I'm going to use this tree here to bend them around the tree and I want to see which connection fails first. The one with primer or the one without primer. You ready? Let's go break these pipes. Now looking at the one with the primer and glue, you can see that there is possibly some slipping at the joint. The plastic looks a little melted and stressed like it's starting to fail. The one with just the glue only doesn't really show any signs of stress or failure at the joint. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison. The one on the left has the primer and glue, the one on the right is glue only. I'll take these back to the tree and try to break them one at a time. Well, the results are kind of interesting. As you just saw, I bent these about 180 degrees twice, and the one with primer actually began to fail. And if you look at it closely, it seems like you actually see where the plastic began to deteriorate a little bit. Compared to the one without using the primer, it didn't budge at all. Well, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Brew Builds. And I'm going to put these on the ground and step on them and just see if I could get these joints to fail. You can see just a tiny bit of bubbling of the plastic on the one that I used the primer. 
But does that softening and penetration of glue make for a stronger joint from water pressure coming from the inside of the pipe? That's beyond my ability to test. I felt that it took more effort to break the connection with the glue only. It snapped with much more force than the one of the primer and knocked one of the cameras when it broke. In conclusion, these connections are very strong with or without using primer. In both types, it's the PVC plastic that failed, not the connection. I do think that if you're using pipe that's larger than three quarters of an inch, primer starts becoming more beneficial because you really want the plastic to fuse together as the PVC plastic itself gets thicker and stronger. Now, I did this test out of my own curiosity and by no means reflects the issue of water pressure bursting a pipe. It wasn't scientific and by no means is meant to prove a point. In fact, you should always follow local codes whenever you're doing any improvements or repairs on your home. And if your pipes ever bend at 180 degrees, you have much more of a serious situation going on. Leave your comments below, hit that like button, and thanks for subscribing to Brewbill.